OBGYN. This is Shirley. Oh, my goodness. Um, is this a hospital that I'm contacting? It's a clinic, yes. Oh, hon, I'm trying to get a, a hold of your uh, your local emergency room hospital that would have treated a water protector that uh, her name was Sophia Walonsky, and they said that her arm was blown off. And I'm just trying to find out what emergency room would she have most likely been taken to because, to be honest with you, they said the, the hospital, she was taken to a Minneapolis or Minnesota hospital. And I'm just wondering, do you have a name of a hospital under Minneapolis or Minnesota there? I wouldn't have any idea. Nothing in Minnesota for Sanford, no. I don't believe so. Am I my contrary for the main operator. This is OBGYN. I have no answers for you, okay? But you know what, honey? You're in North Dakota, though, aren't you? Carolyn, may I help you? Yeah, hon, I'm calling. Are you in North Dakota there? Yes, Bismarck, North Dakota. Very good, sweetie. My name is Anna Anders, and I'm, uh, an, I'm a peace activist, and I'm trying to do some investigative journalism. And so I was wondering, because they had one of the water protectors, her, her arm supposedly got blown off, and so I'm trying to establish why... Where would they have taken, what hospital would they have taken her to? And if you guys are aware of this incident at all. I haven't heard anything about anybody having, a, you know, an arm blown off or anything like that. Oh, that's very good. And what is your name, ma'am? Carolyn. Okay, and you're with what hospital there? Sanford. Sanford. Okay, and so are you an operator? Is that what you do, Carolyn? Right, yes. Okay, sweetheart, and that's okay. I mean, I'm not asking you to tell me otherwise, but the, the thing that I found troubling was they said that they were going to fly her to a Minneapolis hospital or Min Minnesota hospital, and I'm thinking, well, if somebody has an arm that's blown off, don't they have to go to the nearest hospital, wouldn't you think? I would think so. Exactly. Okay, so I'm done playing this little game. Um, I think I'm the story's unraveling as it even goes on, you know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Right. I can, yeah. You know what, ma'am, I can hear it in your, uh-huh. Oh, God, help, <laughs> help us, help us all. And speaking of help us all, I got a question for you, sweetheart. Yeah. Are the locals supporting this uh, No Dapo peaceful protest, you know? Um, somewhat. Okay, you know, I... I hear you all the way, honey. So they're do they're supporting it from a standoffish kind of position. Is that right? Mm. Well, I I really don't want to comment on that. I I'm just staying out of it. Yeah, you know what, honey? It's okay, and I'm glad that you're choosing to stay out of it. But I find it awfully awfully strange that you didn't hear about somebody getting their arm blown off. No, nothing like that. If you have a name, I can look it up. Oh, oh, very good. I do have a name. Her name is Sophia Wolan Wolanski. What's the last name? Wolanski. W-I-L-A-N-S-K-Y. Okay, just a moment. Thank you. Thank you. Carol, is it you said, or Carolyn? Carolyn. Carolyn, I apologize. That's all right. I, we don't have a patient by that name. Okay, very good, and you didn't hear anything, and, and your town is relatively small, so you would have heard something, correct? Right. Thank you. I love the way you said right. Very good. <laughs> you, you, you have a wonderful day, ma'am. Thank you. Happy holidays to you. You too. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.